when you look at the different ages, like for instance, you say, what was the age of, what is the age of Aries? And then they'll tell you it was from 6,000 BC to 4,000 BC. And it's like, that was a point where they were saying that time was going backwards from 6,000 to 4,000 because they created this time they didn't understand. All right. Time is, is based upon the measurements of energy. All right. Time is literally segments of energy that, um, that are created to, uh, to create balance. That's create balance. Like for instance, when you talk about time, you talk about the sun, you talk about the moon. All right. So you get the sun going across the sky. That's, that's a measure of time. The sun goes across the sky is a measure of time. Sun, the moon going across the sky is a measure of time. Sun feeds the physical part of the realm of the planet and the moon feeds the spiritual part. But that's where time comes in. That's that time. And it, and it, it, is, it, it um, sends a certain amount of energy into the atmosphere for balance. So they created an artificial time to try to control the 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 energy that's coming in. This this is why they created the calendar, which um, the calendar is all um, uh, based on certain energies. All right, that's what the calendar is based on. The calendar is based on certain energies. So they say like October, and they say, oh, this is happening in in, in in, in, in April and, and and this is not the type of weather that's supposed to be in April and this is happening in, in, in December and this is not the type because they created a, a a type of weather scheme um to try to control real time which is the sun and the moon sun and the moon is literally real time all right. We are solar lunar beings, which means we are part of time. All right. Condensed with condensed sunlight, with condensed moonlight. That's what we are. All right. Um, so they try to play the role as they, oh, this is, this is this age. This is this age. So I go on because I'm, because we're, we're coming into the age of Aries. Age of Aries is age of absolute power. Okay. We're coming to the end of the age of Aquarius. Now you look at these sexes and they say, oh, well, the ages last for 2,000 years. The ages last when we want them to last. All right? That's when the ages last. A new age begins when we want a new age to begin because we are time. All right? And as a timekeeper, you know, one of my duties is to make sure that certain energies and certain uh, areas of energy shifts and changes. That's my duty as a timekeeper. You got another time a timekeeper, uh, Brother um, Marvin Jones. If you all know him through uh, Facebook, Brother Marvin Jones is a timekeeper as well. And he deals with a different type of time. All right. He deals with a different type of time. So things that I may say may sound different from the things that he say, but what we're saying is the same thing in a different way. That's all. And we're timekeepers. Both of us. You got brother Bobby Hemmett, who is a timekeeper. All right. Extremely powerful beings we are. All right. So um, we entered the age of Aquarius in 2017. In the calendar year of 2017, we entered the age of Aquarius. Okay. And they say, oh, yeah, it's supposed to last for 2,000 years. So it's supposed to be from year 2,000 to the year 4,000. So you mean tell me you're, you, it's going to take 2,000 years for the brothers and sisters to awaken? No. No, not so. Not so. It's not going to take no 2,000 years for brothers and sisters to awaken because this awakening energy comes and... It remains, but then a new age begins. So Aquarius age began in 2017. 
is ending in 2024, March of 2024. Around March of 2017 was when the Aquarius age began. And we announced that on um, my YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel here. I remember announcing that back in 2017. I said, we have entered the Aquarius age. It was official in 2017. The Aquarius age is ending in 2024. All right. And this was the seven year tribulation. This is with brother, brother uh, Marvin Jones, who's uh, deal with the he's also a timekeeper as well. And we came to that agreement as the timekeepers and the timekeepers meeting on yesterday. Um, the Aquarius age ends in 2024, but we will be entering the age of Aries. All right. That's the age of absolute power. Aries represents power. All right. You saw uh, Aries in the movie Wonder Woman. Aries was the one who helped Wonder Woman to uh, activate her, her power. All right. Aries told Wonder Woman, he says, yes, you have that sword, but that sword cannot destroy me. He says, I am that sword. He says, if you want to fight against me then you must use your inner power. So Aries was that symbol of power that activated Wonder Woman, that she was able to send that that lightning into his body, but it didn't destroy him because he told her, he says, I'm a part of everything that you are a part of. You cannot destroy me. You maybe can displace me for temporary, but I will always be here. That's what he told her. So, um, we're entering the age of Aries, which is the age of absolute power. This is the age where the age of Aries, where it act, ha, uh, help us to activate the power. All right. So the age of Aquarius, we entered Aquarius and Aquarius was the awakening energy that literally, um, told us, Hey, this is what you have. This is what you're able to do. This is uh, how you're able to function. I mean, you know, we we understand, you know, this is who you are. All right. And that's the Aquarius. You think the Aquarius age is going to last for 2000 years telling you who you are, and what you can do? No, it's not going to last that long. All right. But still, this is the 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 seven years of tribulations for these Saxons, because this energy that's here is for us. And they're going through tribulation because their bodies are not able to take that energy. All right. So as we come into the age of Aries, this is the age where now that energy begins to manifest. So March 21st of 2024, I believe on March 21st of 2024. So let's let's see the numerology because I'm getting March 21st, 2024. Let's see numerology. We got to look at the numerology. March is the third month. All right. Uh, 21st, two plus one is three, which is, you know, it's, it's a six. Um, then you got um, 2024, which is the number eight. Eight plus six is 14. One plus four is five. Five is a symbol of balance. Okay. Five is a symbol of balance. So uh, we're looking at a completely different age and we're looking at a completely different time of or of, of events that's getting ready to take place in 2024. This is why we say 2024 is a year of death and destruction because this energy is going to be coming down to us to help repair what was destroyed the energy is going to be so high that it's going to be killing and destroying these inorganic beings and and those who survive and see that we are a threat to them will want to try to kill us off and we will use the powers that are within us all right and uh, we and and so so it's like brother marvin jones when we was talking and say hey we come we're coming out of that age of um, 
going from the ash in the astral realms, we're going to this age where we're going to actually be flying and actually be doing powerful things. That's why it's important for us to remain level headed and keep a spiritual mindset. We're entering a new age in 2024. We're entering the age of Aries in 2024. So don't believe these Saxons when they talk about, oh, the age of Aquarius is this and this. It lasts for 2,000 years now because years don't exist in the cosmos. Years don't exist in nature. But what are we doing? We're using the time that they created and we have connected energy to it so that we can guide the brothers and sisters into the direction that they need to go. All right. So we have officially we are officially entering the age of Aries on in March on March 21st, 2021. We will still be in the gates of Helios and we will still be in the gates of Isis. This is all playing a role as we went through all the different um, areas like we we had the. Uh, the convergence, the, the, the sun and moon convergence, we had the planetary convergence, the galactic convergence. All those energies were necessary to build us up to this point. All right. We had the universal convergence. You, you had the, the all the, the galactic, all the different, the stellar and the stellar convergence, all these different convergences that happened. All right. Was building us up to where we are now. So as a timekeeper, just let you guys know this is what's ahead of us all right these Saxons don't know the future they don't know the, they don't know the past they don't know anything so now like we said we will be exiting the Aquarius age has seven years for brothers and sisters to wake up all right seven years for brothers and sisters to wake up and we have had quite a huge number of brothers and sisters who will have awakened and now we are coming to the age of Aries, where this awakening is literally going to show the manifestation of the awakening. Energy doesn't wait for anyone. Energy is not going to sit up and wait for everybody to awaken. No, it's not going to happen like that. All right. That's number one. It's not going to happen like that. Energy is not going to wait for everybody to awaken. Energy is literally going to do what it's got to do. All right. Energy is going to keep moving. It's going to keep moving forward and uh, it's going to manifest itself. And those who are not awakened, they will awaken. All right. They will awaken. They'll be like Brother Marvin Jones says, they're going to be forced to awaken. Um, even even those who don't want to awaken, they're going to be forced to awaken and they're going to have to wake up because they are part of the, the, the natural order of who we are. All right. Those of, of that look like us that are clones, they will be dying. So don't think that, oh, somebody died and they this, this, this. No, they're clones. All right. They, these Saxons have found out how to make clones of us. But the clones don't have souls. Some of them, they only have spirits. All right. So, yes, um, we're coming into the age of Aries. Uh, and we're exiting the age of Aquarius. All right. So just let you guys know as a timekeeper, let you guys know this is what's taking place. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be a confirmation for many of you who um, have been uh, diving into the spiritual energy. These Saxons, uh, the timeline, their timeline has collapsed. They're steadily trying to make things uh, work in the same manner. Um, like we said before, the prisoners are going wild. Now it's time to take control of the prisoners. And we're coming to the age 2024, the year of death and destruction. Right now it's 2023, it's the year of chaos and confusion. And that's what's happening right now. That's why they're so confused right now. They don't know what to do. The system is falling. They don't know how to build it back up. Everything is crumbling around them. They can't save their system. This is the chaos and confusion. All right. So now we're coming into the age of Aries, which is just the age where we are literally returning to absolute power. OK, brothers and sisters. So continue to practice, continue your meditation, go deeper into your arts of uh, uh, 
because I call it an art. I call sorcery an art. That is a that's an acquired art. I call wizardry an acquired art. I call uh, witchcraft with dealing with the witch, witches and the warlock an acquired art. All right, brothers and sisters in the churches, they don't realize they're doing sorcery and all of the churches holding their hands out to other brothers and sisters saying, oh, I send healing to you. They don't understand that they're still doing sorcery. All right. They're still practicing it. Let me put your, put my hands on your head and I'll send my send energy from my body to your body and they think it's God, but they don't know that it's them that's doing it. They don't know that they're still practicing sorcery, but they're in a sleep state, still practicing things as if they were awakened because it's natural to us. OK, it's natural to us. So just understand that we're coming into the age of Aries with his age of absolute power. All right, brothers and sisters, I'll catch you guys later. All right. Holler at you in a minute.